Maya One TV. Graced differently. Anointed differently. This is Strictly Prophetic with the Global Prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King. Okay, Mr. Amadou. You see, praise God. In the realms of the spirit, even though by you being prayed for a few weeks back, the spirit of God said, The demons that have caged you, they have not left you. So I should still pray for you against the spirit of death. Because they have caged you in the realms of the spirit. They are putting you in a spiritual cage in the realm of the spirit. And where they have locked you, the spirit of God is showing me, say that mama, you can go back to your chair. The spirit of God is showing me they have locked you up in the cemetery. So you'll be having very weird dreams and very bad dreams that are connected to death, death, death. The reason is because spiritually they have caged you at the cemetery. And if you don't find, sorry. Dead. I often get dreams about dead. Have you spoken to me about it? No, never. Are you sure? Yeah, never. Okay. And the reason is because they have locked you up in the cemetery. And you are, you, are, you are calling for help. You are asking for help. But the help you need is the kind of help God is through this church giving to you now. There is a woman there is a woman you were with before. You are no more with the woman. That woman has cursed you and she cursed you with a water spirit. And what that woman did is what is manifesting now. It has manifested in so many ways. But this particular one that is manifesting, it will conclude the matter. Thank you, Father. Thank you. It will conclude the matter. So the Spirit of God said, break the spell of the marine spirit that is fighting him and that wants to kill him. Because of his ex. Thank you, Father. Are you currently married? Yeah, I'm married. Mm, is she here or she's outside the country? She's outside the country. The Spirit of God said that woman is not being truthful to you. She is not being truthful to you. Thank you. And you are going to end up, or she's going to end up leaving you. That is what the Spirit of God is saying. Okay, thank you, Father. You are thanking God for, for this one. You want the divorce to happen, or you are confirming it. Oh, I'm not confirming it like that, but because so, of the, I think, troubles I'm going through, she's like having second thoughts about our relationship, but we have a child, so it seems like it's the Is child. a child a boy? A girl. You have a boy? A girl. Do you have a boy? A, no, I don't. Do you have, have a son? A, no, I don't You have don't a have a son. son, you only have a girl. Hmm. Hmm. The spirit of God is saying to me, uh, have they confiscated something from you? Uh, mostly, uh, I had a problem before coming home. So, especially my account, since I came, I've been trying to get access to... Access you don't to have access to your account. My account yeah. And you have money in the account. Yes. The spirit of God is saying to me, I'm seeing an investigation. I'm seeing an investigation problem that is leading to imprisonment and the spirit of God said, the name, the name you bear, the name has been tarnished. The name has been tarnished because of an investigation. Like you have done some criminal thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like you have done some criminal thing. Yes. What is going on? Actually, uh, I got a job. So I, I saw it on this Facebook. I was in China, but... I usually go back to my family in South Korea. I live in South Korea. So I've not been on Facebook for a long time. So during the COVID, I came back to South Korea to join my family. And that is where I tried to look for a job. I saw this job on Facebook. Uh -huh. So they were looking for an officer, like a credit controller. Uh -huh. So I applied to them and they gave me a letter and I started working to the, with them. But after a month, the salary they're supposed to pay me, they were playing some kind of game. So I became upset and left the job. And I was even planning to report them to the police uh -huh. when one day this, I got a knock on my door. And what I heard was the police from another city. 
So I opened the door for them and they told me, do you know about this company? I said, yes. I got a job for one month and I was collecting some money and other things. Then they say, he said, they are scammers. So they implicate me with that issue. I say, yeah, actually. So they, so they lock you up? Yeah, they jailed me for one year. They jailed years. you for one year. Yeah. So the prophecy is accurate. Yeah, yeah. Now listen, the spirit of God said you are innocent in this matter. It was a false accusation they placed on you. But it has affected your name and your integrity. Yes, because I have been teaching actually. I've teach in South Korea. I've teach for more than fifteen years. Let's say about twenty years. Wow! So I have even grown up students that, though they respect me a lot there, but when this happened, I felt like uh, they have really, really tarnished my image for all these twenty of years. So, yeah, of course. Of course. So I was really very angry, thinking of revenge and all those things, but. When right I, now, yeah. right now, God wants to restore your integrity. Amen. The righteous shall fall seven times. Amen. Seven times again, the righteous shall rise up again. Amen. You are that righteous that has fallen. God is going to give you more than you have lost. Your family people, your family people. If I say your family people, let me say it like this. The foundation in your family, they have been looking for you to attack you for a very long time. And they have also delayed your process. The money you are supposed to make in this life, you have not even made half. They have delayed you a lot. But it yeah. has reached a point, they've decided to say, if we cannot kill him, let us send him into prison so we can kill him there. So in prison, whilst you were there, something took place. Yes, it's true. Something took place that is it's meant true, to kill perfect. you. Yeah, it's and true. And he says what? Well, it is true. It's true, yeah, it's true. It's true, it's true. So, the imprisonment I am seeing, it is both physically and, and spiritual. spiritually. Yeah, yeah. Not Actually, only physical. My, yeah, Please my talk wife, to me. My wife is a Korean and uh -huh. my daughter has never been to Africa. So, they don't even know anything about spirituality. But the day I was arrested and took, taken to the police station, so both my wife and my daughter started experiencing some spiritual attacks at home. And they were seeing some man getting into our house, attacking them at the same time. So they both wake up. They have different rooms. Mm. So when they got up, got up, my wife was running towards my daughter's room. And my daughter was also running towards my wife's room. So they met. And they said, there is somebody in this house trying to attack them. And even my daughter was saying, they were, the man was asking for me in particular. And my wife was also very afraid so at that moment they called my friend who is also a pastor there in Korea they called him in the middle of the night is this South Korea in South Korea so he came over and then prayed for them in the night before they were able to sleep, to sleep. yeah it was a spirit it was a spirit being it was a spirit being but you see prophetically or spiritually this is what goes on if you become a target to spirit beings who have received assignment to come and kill you and they don't find you they look for your next successor in the family the person that when you are not there will carry on your legacy so your daughter i ask you pre repeatedly is it a boy is it a boy is it a boy the reason why i'm asking that is because even though she's a girl before god and spiritually she carries the legacy of a firstborn child which is a male yeah, that's what my wife always tells me. That Which is a male. She even acts like a boy. And Do she I, plays soccer, right? Do I know your wife? No. Have I spoken to your wife before? Come this side, come this side. Come this side. So I ask you repeatedly, is it a boy? Is it a boy? Is it a boy? And you come to repeating, no, it's a girl. Do you have a boy? No, it's a girl. Do you have a boy? No, it's a girl. And the, the girl is acting like a boy. Plays football like a boy. Yeah. And your wife tells you this, your daughter does yeah. what? Yeah, she acts like a boy always. She acts always like a boy. Me. Yeah, she acts. You like know a that boy. your daughter spiritually they have caged her also. So if if she complains, stomach ache today, headache the next day, stomach ache today, headache the next day, then know that what the Lord is telling me is a sure word. Yeah, she complains usually. And about clap you. your hands for Jesus. Do it better. Clap your hands for Jesus. Do it better. Hold on, hold on. 
it will be as though you and I we have had conversation before. No, no. because everything I'm saying, you are confirming. And here is this a man is who is coming. Time here. This is your second time. Yeah. And the first day you came, it I only prayed almost, for yeah, you. You almost finished the service. I had not even finished the service. Yeah, the yeah. moment I saw you, I said, I cannot let you go. Yes, because I saw death yeah. on you. And I prayed for you. After I prayed for you, we had a conversation after. No, no, no. I tried so to. So how am I able to know your wife and your child who is in South Korea, things that are going on there? Yeah, it's... It's, it's the spirit of God. Yeah. It's the spirit of God. It's the spirit of God. They have caged this girl because of you. To say, if they cannot get you to finish you, they must kill her. But guess what? For this reason, the son of God Jesus Christ came that he may destroy the works of the devil. Amen. And he has deposited enough fire and enough power in me. The Lord said I should tell you to go into track business. Amen. Track you, yeah. business. Sorry? Actually, that's my interest. That's your interest. Yeah. Then clap your hands for Jesus. Wow. I saw you. I saw you standing next to long trailer tracks long trailer tracks you will do well in that business Thank you. you will succeed in that business this year 2024 your grave has already been dug your coffin has already been purchased but it is in this year 2024 you will prosper the most God will set you up in this year and if you position yourself well in God what God will establish for you in the name of the track tracking business amen it will cause you to do well for the rest of your life amen, amen. actually i have a, a, a this used car business in south korea but when i got this program and i was about to come home my wife asked me to cancel the registration of the business but i had a second thought and i refused to cancel it that woman is planning to leave you and i don't know why the spirit of god is saying that woman is not being truthful to you so does it mean but I won't even go there because I want you to find out yourself. Because this one, if you don't find out yourself, it is the, the name of the prophet you will go to go and now make whatever accusation which will not hold. Rather, the prophet's name will be tarnished. Prophet, help me. Help me to know. Because uh, that's one of the As first saying, things. That's the one of, one of the first things that made me come home. Because I want to find the root of my problems. So, Please help me. Say spiritual power. Spiritual power. Say spiritual power. Spiritual power. Today is your day of restoration. The spirit of death, they are placed on you. I unlock Amen. the cage. Amen. Amen. And I remove you from the cage. You will not be seeing dead people in your dreams from today. Amen. I remove the death clothes Amen. and the grave clothes. I remove them and I set them on fire. Amen. And I put a new garment of long life upon you. Amen. The Spirit of God said, Take off your shoe. Take off your shoe. Take off your shoe. Anointing service, Nana Masha, here, Musa Jenidia, Mr. Amadun Su Jenidia. I anoint your feet and I establish this your feet on the land of the living. You do not have permission to join the land of the dead. Amen. You do not have permission to join your forefathers. Amen. I prolong your life. Amen. Prolong your life. Amen. Do you know anything about 59? 59. 59. That is uh, almost my age. That is almost your age. Yeah, I will be 59 this year. The Lord said, you, you, shh, shh. The Spirit of God said, Your days on this earth, if you had not met his servant, it would have ended at 59. Wow. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now you can clap your hands for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are global. You are authentic. So now, in the realms of the spirit, we have entered into the court of heaven. And a new document has been signed for him. Instead of 59, that is why I keep telling people that destinies can be changed. Amen. Amen. When you have spiritual power, whether demonic power or godly power, Amen. they can change your destiny. Can change your destiny. This one Amen. is a proof. This one is a proof. In the court of heaven, new documents have been signed that this one will come back to his creator Thank in you, his prophet. 90s. Thank and you, I saw prophet. 98. Prophet. 98. Thank you. 98. Amen. 
I saw 98. No more 59. 98. Amen. Mr. Amadou, are you surprised with this one in particular? Very surprised. This year, you are yes. 59 this I'll, year. I will be 59 on November 28. Your obituary, they would have written 59 on the paper. They would have written age because you have already entered into that year or 59. Not that and you would have lived yeah. until November. Strangely, but they would have... strangely, I don't tell my age. You don't even yeah, tell your age. Even, yeah, even I think my parents have even forgotten my age. Imagine. Even my friend here doesn't know my real age. Even your friend doesn't know your real yeah, age. Yeah. You mean your friend who brought you to church? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't know your real age. Yeah, you yeah. are very secretive. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is a surprise. Yeah, it's a surprise. 59. You will grow beyond 59. Amen. Amen. That is how you will know that indeed God rules in the affairs of men. Amen. God rules in the affairs of men. That the, the no of Satan cannot compete with the yes of God. When God says yes, it is final. Thank you, Prophet. Mr. Amadou, you will live long beyond 59. Amen. 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 God brought you to Ghana not to come and resuscitate you, revive you and take you out of depression and shame God brought you to Ghana to come and prolong your life through this servant of Amen. God Amen. and you will live long Amen. you too you will live long Amen. mommy you too you will live long Amen. my daughter you too you will live long Miss Amadou today when you get home change into white change into white lie prostrate okay. on the floor worship God Amen. And thank God for the gift of life. Amen. And thank God that you have grown and have gone beyond 59. Amen. 59. Is there any possibility that your age will be on social media? No. I, I keep it very secret. Even my wife doesn't know. Even my your reality. wife doesn't know. I keep it very secret. Hey. Wow. I, don't, I don't tell people my age. But today. The last time. Uh, I was believing that my problem started the last time when I told my sister about my the day I was born. That is, I was born on a Sunday. And because I don't want people to know about the day I was born, so I intentionally changed the year. So instead of the 1965, I made it 1973. To, so to mislead them. Yeah. So yeah. But what's the reason behind it? She told me uh, a pastor want to pray for me and other things and they want the day I was born. The pastor wanted to know the day you were yeah, born. Yeah. And I told her, that is my secret. I don't tell people about the day Everybody I was born. Everybody on their level. Yeah. You will live long. Amen. Stomach ache, I rebuke it. Amen. Stomach ache, I rebuke it. Amen. I rebuke stomach ache. Amen. I rebuke body pains. Amen. Pains in your joints. Jesus. Every demonic arrest Jesus. on your soul and your spirit. Jesus. I release you from it. Amen. In the mighty name of Yeshua. Yes. I prolong your life. Amen. To 98. Amen. As I have seen in the spirit. Yes. So shall it remain in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fire One TV. Graced differently. Anointed differently.